Okay, uh, we're going to just show you guys what we got with the um, with the new puck. Um, this is sport core tile here. I guess the first thing of note is uh, this is the internal piece, the core. Um, what we did was probably the most significant change was we replaced the nylon with uh, the pro puck material, which is uh, much faster. So we were happy with that. Um, I don't know if you can see in the camera, uh, the center is actually weighted on the inside, which means that um, you know as we go along, if you want, uh, we can always adjust the weight of the puck. We can make it heavier, we can make it lighter, uh, depending upon uh, you know what your what your preferences are. So um, this is the core piece, and uh, we're very happy with the workmanship on that. So as far as the puck goes. Uh, this is what we have. Uh, you can see it's a bit different from the last one. Uh, I guess what I'd like to do is let's compare it to what you guys are using right now, which is the rocket puck. Uh, what we did was, um, well, first of all, let me show you what our thinking was behind doing what we did with this. Uh, sport court, you know, um, kind of bouncy, and I think the, the reason why you know you get bouncy pucks um, on sport court is if you know you look underneath it's really not a solid surface you know you've got this um, you know this grid pattern here um, with the with the playing surface on top and because it's not solid you know I think there's a bit of a, a trampolining effect that goes on so what we did to combat that uh, that that issue is uh, with this puck what we did was we actually made the profile um, a little bit lower by a few millimeters uh, and what we did was if you look at the outer dimension of the pegs compared to what you have with the rocket puck uh, this distance from here to here is 68 millimeters and what we did was we actually um, widened the stance of the new puck and this distance from here to here is actually 72 millimeters so we went four millimeters over what we had and we went with a slightly lower profile um, when you join it with this with the weighting which is actually the weighting is actually right equidistantly in the middle uh, creates uh, a lower center of gravity which we think will keep the puck down and uh, you know keep it from bouncing and, and flopping around on you when you play with it um, the other issue uh, that of note that's like slightly different is if you take a look at the edge uh, we eliminated all the sharp edges from the last time we made the contact points here, the, the contact patches on it, um, slightly um, small and rounded. So we eliminated all the sharp edges, and as you can see, you know, we have this beveling over here, and the beveling has uh, a very distinct, very distinct purpose as well. If you look at the rocket puck, uh, the issue with this and other pucks is the the rounded pegs and the what, what's going on really around the edge um, on the black part and you know pretty much you know the puck's not always flat and if you take a look you know this is called like the gyroscopic motion I don't know if you could hear it but it's kind of like that that skipping as the puck spins around it bounces from peg to peg to peg and what happens is when it gets like at a higher angle of spinning um, the black edge here kind of snags on the surface and it's kind of rough and it kind of sticks because this material has a higher coefficient of friction than the glide peg. So what we've done is by peripherally placing the pegs around the outside working in conjunction with the bevel what happens is as it gets up it's a much smoother I don't know if you can hear that it's a much smoother situation as the puck gets up on end and spins around and because we have the bevel this part of the puck the outer part of the puck which has the higher coefficient of friction doesn't come in contact as much with with the playing surface as the rocket puck does so um, moving on what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the warehouse and we're going to do a speed test between these uh, four competing pucks we got rocket puck uh, the Reebok speed puck Mach 1 and IDS so let's go out and speed test these and you'll see uh, our decision to use the pro puck material and change in material these are you know for all intent and purposes basically different variants of nylon uh, we found that the nylon is not as good of a material as the material we used and uh, we're going to show you 